What's up guys? I uh, came up here today to this property to make a mock scrape and to change one of my camera locations. I uh, want to get those running on scrapes now. Uh, running just a little bit behind on getting those on scrapes, but right now it's still in pre-rut mode and uh, still a good time to move those cameras over to scrapes. And I figured I'd do a quick video here today just to show you guys how I make my mock scrapes and I've been doing it this way for several years now and it works really well. I don't ever worry about buying those over-the-counter, you know, mock scrape drippers and scents and attractants and dominant buck and doe estrus and all that stuff. What I'll do is I'll just find a low-hanging limb, a branch, I use this one right here, and then I'll put the camera... Hopefully you can see this back here on this tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my boot here. And I'll just start working the ground. Uh, finish mock scrape. Just use my boot. Licking branch above to where they're going to rub their tarsal glands on this and then trail camera back here. And what I'll actually do is I'll actually urinate in this instead of using some scents or attractants. So I'm not making this video to say that those scents and attractants don't work. I'm sure that they do as they should, but what I'm saying is deer urine and human urine both convert to ammonia and both smell very similar at the end once it's broken down, which is ammonia. Like I mentioned, I've been doing it this way for a long time now. It always works. Um, like I say, I'll urinate in this come back in five to ten days check that trail camera and can almost guarantee if there's bucks in the area they're going to be on camera freshening up this scrape so you guys make sure and like and subscribe stay tuned for more happy hunting be safe good luck out there see you guys bye